While we in the West may consider guinea pigs as pets, in parts of Peru they have been eating them for thousands of years, and they are viewed the same way you or I might view, say, a chicken, simply as a tasty source of protein. Discover food. So I'm here with Alejandrina, a friend of ours. She's invited us over, and she's going to show us how to make this. This is guinea pig, or cooey, as they call it in Peru. What a cute little thing. Look at that, Lucy. She's so gorgeous. Her name, by the way, is Lunch. I'll spare you the gory details of how this guinea pig was prepared by Alejandrina's husband, Javier. But just to note that once on the chopping board, it's important to make two incisions on each leg. One at the shoulder and one in the middle. Right, so let's start on this side here. Right, as you can see here, Lucy, so you keep all the organs, the heart and so on. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so we'll start with salt. You want to get all around these organs, get that salt all in and salt up the other side as well. Right, rub that into those incisions. Right, and the cumin. Let's rub that in. Then the organs get a bit. Yeah, flip her over. And the same for this side. Okay, so that's basically it. The last bit is just lemon, okay? So we're just gonna squeeze a bit of lemon over it, or rub it in. Nice. So it's very simple here in Arequipa. We don't put too many spices on it. Yeah, so look, very, very simple here, guys. Literally, it's just the cumin salt and a bit of lemon. Now, as you can see, there's not actually that much meat on these guinea pig. Really not, it's, it's a lot of bones, okay? So there's a lot when you're eating this, a lot of like you're, you're picking on the bones. Okay. Listo, no? Selection muy bien. I did very good, first time. So we're gonna fry this, have a look. That's just, you have your oil, nice and hot, and we're gonna put the guinea pig into it. Yeah, that was water, look. That's how you can tell it's hot enough. There you go. I know, poor, poor Lucy there behind is cringing, you know? She doesn't like this, but. This is, it, it goes down, yeah, okay, so the inside goes down first. Let's get those little hind legs in, into the oil. And the stone goes in. Woo, there we go, and weigh that down. So, quanto, quanto tiempo? 20 minutos por este lado y 20 por el otro lado. Yay! Javier, ¿cuál es tu manera favorito de comerlo? Alcuy. Bueno, hay distintas maneras. Voy a comer. Por ejemplo. Frito. Yeah. A la sartén. Frito a la sartén, that's what we're having today. Sí, después en sopa, sopa también. Y así. Yeah. ¿Y tu favorito? Es más frito. Frito. Acá lo dicen el cuy chactado. El cuy chactado, that's fried. I want a chactado. Así se dice. Sí. Cuando compramos, mejor criamos a nuestra manera. Ya cuando ya están grandes, tiene ganas de comer, tiene apetito de comer un cuy. Lo mata, es rico, pues. No es como se compra que otros crían. No, es sí, sí, pero no tiene, no tiene gusto. Yeah. No, nosotros, pues, nosotros criamos para comer así. Ok, so there you go. They're not pets here. They're basically a food source. Ahora va a comer, ahora va a comer lo que sea. Okay. Yeah. It's one that he's raised that we're going to be eating. And it's a lot more tasty than if you buy in a market. <laughs> Lovely. Let's take this up. Hold on, Leno. Okay. Whoa, look at that, Lucy. Can you get that? Look at that massive bubble. Here, I can't resist. I'm going to have to pop it now. Hopefully this won't spit at me. Whoa, there we go. Okay, so that's kind of done on one side. So let's turn her over. Whoa. Flip it over and repeat the process. This will help in cooking the animal evenly as it fries. Right, so yeah, we'll just press it down. Is that in? Excellent. Okay. This is surprisingly simple to make. Actually, I thought there'd be a little bit more to it, but it's just seasoned up and deep fat fried. Perfect. I can't wait for this. Okay. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Gracias, Ali. Excelente. Okay, so right, so we have our guinea pig here. Look at that. Couple of things to note. This here is the corn in Peru. 
You're focusing on that. Look at the size, look at the size of that. So these aren't as sweet as normal kind of sweet corn, if you like, they're a lot bigger and more of a mild taste. Oh, thank you, a little salad here as well. Okay, now the other thing to know is this is often eaten with this sauce called a coppo. Do I have that right? A copa. Okay, I'll get it right. Well, let's dig into this. Wow, okay, now I'm just, uh, just ripped it in half. Here we go, whoa. So let's start with the organs here. Let's try these. I don't know what it is. I think this is the kidney. Mm. That's the liver. That's lovely. Very crispy, very tasty. There's not too much meat on this, so you really have to, you have to kind of pick at the bones. Oh. oh man, that is so good. Wow, that's very, very tasty. And that skin. Oh, look at that skin. Excellent. Mmm. Gorgeous. Right, here's a bit of the skin. Let's lather this on. Woohoo! A little bit messy, here we go. Mmm. Nice bit of chew to that skin. Gorgeous. This really, this makes it, okay? So I'm gonna have to show you how to make this another time. Okay, let's get another leg off. Wee, look at that. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Sauce on. Mm. A lot of little bones in this. So, a speak for this vessel, the cabeza. Ah, the cabeza is the main part of the person who comes in the queer. Yeah. Eh, buscan la cabecita y el zorrito. Ah, ok. Y dice que el que lo encuentra, dice que es suerte. Ah. Y el que no lo encuentra, dije, bueno. Ah, ok, ok. Ah. Ok, but remember, we don't have the head today. So, the bone is in the head. Pero hay que saber, porque es muy chiquitito. <laughs> It's tiny, it's a tiny little thing. Okay, so that brings you good luck. Muchas gracias, Alejandrina, para enseñarme este plato de Arequipa. Gracias. Gracias.